We all live in the digital world. We all need it to be open and safe. We all want to trust. And to be trusted. We all despise control. And desire freedom. We, we are all united. united. My name is Dora Pasienieniecka. I'm from Nikolaus Copernicus University. And um, I'm going to present you uh, today uh, my topic of my speech, selected aspects of the phenomenon of cyberbullying. But I would like to clarify the issue that I will take up in my speech. I will present some form of uh, cyberbullying, namely cyber stalking. So uh, we need uh, knowledge about the tools, methods, and patterns of uh, criminals or those uh, with bad intentions. So uh, lack of this knowledge um, is um, brings emotion, uh, some um, emotional problems for victims. And um, I would like to point out that cyber stalking can be experienced um, uh, by teachers and public officials. So this is a danger for those people because they have a lot to lose. So um, stalker use tools for communication technology to um, intimidate and blackmail the victims. Um, in, in, uh, next uh, next um, um, slide, please. Uh, so um, on June 6, um, uh, 2011, the category of stalking crime was introduced into the Polish uh, crime uh, code. And um, here you can uh, see um, this, um, the law, yes, um, it's too big, I think, I don't know. But um, um, in, in Poland, in total, 1,163 persons were tried, including 172 men and 191 women. Uh, these uh, penalties included an independent fine, restriction on liberty, deprivation on liberty, uh, conditional remission. So uh, uh, the second um, pulse one to uh, point two, in total, the, co the court con um, convinced 1969 uh, uh, people, including 42, um, 43 men and 26 women. Um, pulse one to three, uh, three men were tried, so uh, this is the, the problem scale. Uh, in concept of stalking um, refers to the crime of um, persistent harassment by which it meant the uh, conscious, in, um, intentional and often uh, malicious um, prosecution of the other person caused by the desire to um, recreate um, or make the intimate contact with the victim by the stalker. Um, the main point of stalker is to uh, control over uh, the victim. Um, so um, the most important is that they uh, want uh, danger in the victim, as uh, Tomaszek says, is one from the uh, well-known author in this field. Uh, so um, the, um, the violent behavior, uh, which is characterized by repetition, intention of hurting um, the other person, uh, uh, and uh, sense of threat of a victim. So it's very interesting, um, there are research about it, by Mullen, Pot, uh, Paulsell, and Stewart from um, uh, 1999, which implemented on the group 145 stalkers 
And most of them are usually former partners, 30%, people known from a professional relationship. It's about 23% or work, 11%. Uh, there were another um, um, another um, research uh, conducted on the group 15 stalkers showed that in 22 cases the preparator committed a brutal violence act against a victim in the form of causing serious uh, bodily uh, injuries, uh, serious wounds, um, attempted murder and death, as Tomasz said in his. Uh, in the publication from um, the problem is really uh, serious. Uh, so next slide, please. Who is the stalker? Next, uh, next uh, slide, please. I cannot see. Can you see this? May I have the next slide, please? Which, number five or number four? I think we're losing. Yes, we, we just lost our presenter, unfortunately. Um, should we wait until uh, possibility of oh, that presenter is actually reconnecting with us? Um, if that will be impossible, then perhaps we'll change for our next presenter. But uh, um, may I ask if uh, the next presenter, just in case, is being Ready, I, I understand that there are some problems with connections. And unfortunately, some people have difficulty in connecting to us, including the second presenter. So the other alternative that we have is to, oh, we have, we are lucky. We are lucky we have you. Please unmute yourself because we can't hear you. Pani Doroto, ma Pani wyłączony mikrofon. Can hear you. Okay, oh, now, teraz. is it okay oh. right now? Yes, can yes, now me? we can hear you perfect. Yeah, okay, um, so uh, number three, please. Uh, number three, all done. Uh, slide number three, please. Yeah, all okay. done. Floor is, uh, floor is yours. Don't rush, it's okay. It's just yes, technicality. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to describe who is the stalker. So stalker um, in, um, in um, um, text of Katarzyna Tomaszek, uh, in the text stalker, a psychological characteristic of um, perpetrators of crimes and um, persistent harassment, reviewed research from um, many authors but uh, the, from the description um, we can we can find a description of stalker so this is the man aged 35 40 years old single unmarried mostly educated higher intelligence um, quotient often without employment uh, without own home not self uh, reliant criminal record in the in the past uh, they could have been uh, perpetrators of domestic violence. So um, when um, when starters uh, when stalkers start um, behave like that, so uh, they start um, when um, uh, they try to regain the lost relationship, but the direction of the actions change when the victim still refuses to return uh, to the previous situation. So in fact, uh, what is the source of the problem? The problem is in, in the, their fear for loneliness and lost relationships. Most of those people want to be loved, as, uh, as uh, authors uh, say. Uh, 
So the next slide, please. Um, um, so what, um, uh, how media in the hands of uh, um, um, perpetrator, uh, cyber stalking and the internet. So frequent <clears throat> forms of victim harassment take the form of frequent forms, uh, calls, sending innumerable messages, email, SMS, uh, sending uh, unwanted presents, parcels, uh, intrusive meetings, treats, sexual proposals, uh, victim tracking, overrides at the workplace uh, or place of um, residence, uh, recording uh, victims, uh, conversations and videos. Sometimes a uh, victim uh, doesn't know that is recorded and uh, and um, attacking to public places, emotional blackmail uh, and uh, acts of aggression and vandalism. So it means uh, destruction of objects, um, um, harming uh, animals belonging to the victims and so on. And we can find those all those uh, Features in uh, publications of um, of uh, Skarżynska, Sernagria, for instance, and Tomaszek. Um, they describe very well psychological aspects of um, of uh, stalker behaviors, and um, uh, th they show themselves as a victim very often. So, uh, so in fact, they feel that they are victims. And um, uh, and um, they, um, for instance, they can post the personal content, intimate uh, pictures, recorded uh, conversation for the uh, fragments, um, information about love, descriptions of sexual acts, and uh, intimate facts about the life address, for instance. Uh, they create sometimes um, uh, on the Facebook another account with photos of the victim uh, or with uh, some uh, sexual proposals. So problems is problem is really, uh, I would say, uh, horrible. And the most dangerous is that they can also use some parts. But there are interesting publications about it. Uh, they, they can, uh, some of the groups uh, can uh, use um, sharp objects for instance, and uh, so razors, knives, and so on. So, uh, of course, uh, the most important uh, is a knowledge what to do with these problems. And uh, in fact, um, our law uh, is well prepared for that. But uh, the um, social, the police, for instance, and uh, prosecutors, they need the knowledge uh, how to recognize uh, the problem, because uh, in our mentality, we think that this is a lover, this is a person, it, it can be, of course, woman, women or the man, but but uh, we think about the uh, lover. So many people do not uh, treat is, is this seriously. They think, OK, maybe he, will, he or she will stop, but uh, the situation grow, uh, grow and uh, grow. Of course, the most important is to, to stop uh, the relationship with this person, not to contact, know any contact with this person and collect uh, collect uh, material uh, for uh, police. And also uh, we um, ask the witness to see what's going on. And uh, well, of course, in a Facebook, I'm going to check it out, of course. Um, uh, so in the Facebook, um, um, uh, we have also some um, conversation, uh, they, they publish some conversation, intimate relation and so on, I say about it, but I would like uh, to maybe to finish uh, for uh, um, uh, in um, um, the, about the education, because education is the main point, so we need uh, the next slide, please. I'm going to finish with, uh, with some uh, educational aspects, so it means that we need a uh, prophylactic level, a psychological and social level, uh, intervention level. So we, my uh, department and my colleagues, we, we have prepared a course, online course for our students of pedagogy. And uh, it was an online course for um, 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 and educational materials for students. Um, and um, there are uh, some, um, 
it's 60 hours e-learning course and the models to protect ourselves from uh, from uh, uh, this kind of situations and uh, situation and um, the subject uh, of course was devoted by interdisciplinary team uh, so media educators, educators, specialists in the field of e-learning and multimedia and psychologists also. It's 166 students uh, took part in this uh, project. And uh, most important is um, uh, how the students they um, learned how to solve problems, dealing with aggression of uh, other people in real and virtual space, learning by learner institutions and constructive uh, resolution team conflicts and effective communication as a part of teamwork and digital skills to solve routine problems for searching for necessary information on the web and um, uh, of course the most important how to um, protect ourselves is take care for our uh, our um, uh, privacy in the on the internet um, be careful with some uh, people we, we meet in our lives. And another thing is uh, to educate how to behave uh, in the situation of um, uh, aggression uh, and how to recognize um, this in, the, in our uh, space of our social life and how to react on situations like that if we observe it as a, a weakness. So this is, uh, I'm sorry that I cannot say more about it, but if you have any questions, let me know. I I'm, um, I'm just, uh, I think I'm on time. This is uh, our uh, publications. One is more theoretical about the source of aggression and another one um, is about, um, about uh, the cyber aggression, uh, how there are some, um, it's in, in uh, the co collection of the literature about it and and some uh, summaries of uh, of research results uh, led in Poland by um, well known in this field well known authors so thank you very much for your attention if you have any questions let me know thank, thank you, you kindly for for your presentation uh, certainly we uh, we are looking for, for questions. Uh, I propose that if uh, our audience has have questions, then certainly they can uh, direct uh, in our forum today. Otherwise, uh, you are most welcome to write your questions in chat or alternatively uh, contact uh, the presenters um, directly. It's all up to you. Uh, but as we know, since in its inception in 2006, uh, IGF uh, allow us to all to, to sit around the table, which, which we are uh, doing so today, uh, exchanging information and sharing uh, good practice, which uh, the audience had the uh, pleasure to, to, to listen to uh, your presentation at the moment. Um, and once again, we are uh, facilitating uh, some common understanding of how to maximize uh, yes, the yes. internet opportunities, but at the same time, as the first presentation um, proposed, we are looking at uh, unfortunately risks uh, and challenges that uh, that internet is uh, presenting in ever-changing uh, progressive world. So um, I trust that uh, you had that uh, interesting uh, exposure and. Uh, uh, let's let us wait for a few minutes for questions if there are any. Um, otherwise, we'll uh, try to uh, link ourselves with uh, the next presenter. So the floor is yours. Whoever would like to ask questions, and you're most welcome to ask questions both in in English as well as in Polish, because that certainly can be translated in due time. May I ask a question? Uh, by all means, there, there, is, uh, there are some uh, technical problems I can see with uh, your connection, but uh, 
Uh, but by all means, if if you if you can, uh, you're most welcome to ask questions. Firstly, and most importantly, your your microphone is switched off, so we cannot hear you. Mm. Yes, mi mikrofon. Uh, trzeba włączyć mikrofon. We can we can see you from the distance, but we can't see you in in your slot. It's working. It's working. Professor Szymieniecka, your topic was selected aspects of the phenomenon of cyberbullying. I'd like. I have a specific question for you. Can the victim perceive early behavior that the person may be a stalker? Would you like to answer the question? Where is Professor Szymieniecka? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> can you, I'm here. Can you, can you hear the question? Have you heard the question? Yes, yes, I can hear, yes. Uh, okay, uh, would you be kind to, to perhaps Thank answer you. the question? So um, how can we um, recognize um, them? Yeah, so the most important is to, um, um, we, can, uh, we can observe th those people who are stalkers, they are very charming and they are very intelligent. So that's why people, sometimes family or people, uh, who surround us, they cannot believe that those people are due to be um, um, uh, danger, dangerous or uh, use violence. So, uh, but the person who is in relationship should, uh, firstly should uh, um, recognize uh, what um, um, and what Tomaszek said in the description, I showed it during our my presentation. So it is a kind of profile of uh, this person, and also um, this this those people have some difficulties in relationships, and um, they have uh, as uh, Skarżyńska uh, Segalia, for instance, uh, Segalia say that they have a very low level of empathy. And uh, those people are also very nat narcissistic, uh, more oriented on uh, themselves and very selfish and um, uh, self-centeredness. Um, um, so it means that if we see person like this, person who is toxic, a person who wants to limit it, our uh, relationships to another people um, and grab all our space and time, so um, we feel sometimes that this is toxic, but we try to, to believe that maybe this person is jealous or maybe this person is uh, so in love with. So um, we should be very, very careful with this kind of relationship. If someone in, we have a kind of um, uh, empath, empathy, you know what I mean? So first we think, okay, something is wrong. It is, this is toxic. So if we feel like that, we should stop and leave it. And of course, another thing is uh, connected to, um, to prosecutors and the police, which is asking some of them can ask, for instance, uh, why did you find a person like that? And they cannot understand the way how those people, um, how those um, build a kind of net around the person. So it's horrible because if, if a teacher is working in a school and it, on the internet can see uh, they own uh, photos and uh, some uh, sexual descriptions, or for instance, that can find the photo on um, uh, sexual uh, sites or pages or something like that, it's horrible. 
So it is very important to for this person to be um, the um, the group of people uh, and um, the nearest um, the people. Uh, um, for instance, a family and, and colleagues from work and then other people should know how to react. So education is really very, very uh, um, important, especially in the field of uh, moral, uh, moral aspects and uh, moral and, um, um, uh, and, and um, empathy and, uh, and also um, uh, how to collect the data and how to um, how to um, fight for your rights and and i think we, people should be brave in this situation because it's really a uh, very difficult situation for the um, victim thank you thank very you very much. very much for for uh, responding to that question we really appreciate um, uh, you just uh, uh, you just used your time uh, so thank you for, for being on time, despite the fact that uh, we, we all endure some technical uh, difficulties. Um, somehow we, we had, uh, we overcame uh, come that problem. So thank you for, for being patient. Um, we have, I understand, the second presenter, as you can see, representing Stefan Wyszynski University. Unfortunately, there are problems in uh, connecting uh, to the system. So, um, so I believe that uh, that Professor uh, Galas um, could be uh, replaced if we have a replacement uh, within our group. If not, may I suggest that uh, uh, our third presenter, if um, if you are ready and willing to to take that slot, and perhaps. Uh, be part of that presentation, uh, then, then certainly we would uh, appreciate if, uh, if this is in line with, uh, with your, your readiness. So please let us know if, if, uh, if you are ready to, to present. You are, fantastic. So uh, look, uh, let me just connect you first with, uh, with your presentation because that will be the easiest um, way for us all. And I will uh, leave uh, the floor with you. And uh, uh, please bear with us if there are any technical problems, we'll try to overcome them, certainly same way as we did with the first presentation. But otherwise, um, welcome to, to uh, your presentation uh, and good luck. Okay, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, participants of the Internet Government Forum, good afternoon. Uh, dear Professor Ganesh, thank you very much for uh, my introduction. Uh, the participation in this prestigious uh, international forum is a great uh, honor for me. Thank you for invitation. Let me start. The COVID pandemic does not stop at national border. It um, affects people regardless of nationality, educational background, income or gender. This also uh, applies to the educational system and the global transition into a virtual space. Uh, among the main challenges posed by e-learning in the pandemic, uh, the following needs to be uh, emphasized. Uh, emphasized. Uh, digital and technological challenges, first of all, sometimes uh, there is um, unequal or limited access uh, to computer hardware, mobile devices, software, resources necessary for implementing of distance learning, as well as the fast and stable internet connection. Uh, social and human challenges required and sometimes uh, Insufficient, insufficient level of digital and uh, learning competences necessary for distance learning participation, uh, the need for permanent contact and communication between the people, emotional and psychological, psychological disorder, a care, uh, can occur when communication in, uh, is isolated. 
exist. At the same time, with constant contact with the digital and virtual environment, there is a risk to developing the digital dementia. Environmental challenges, uh, the internet uh, can be dangerous neighborhood for everyone, but children and young people are especially vulnerable. Uh, users and learners should be ready for opportunities and challenges of working in global virtual space internet. Uh, remember about safety matters, uh, for example, cyberbullying, uh, cyber predators, posting private information, phishing, falling for scams, uh, uh, accidentally downloading malware, post and come back to con and chat later uh, in life and other. Uh, Professor Dorota Szymienicka uh, before presented more detail cyberbullying and cyber talk. Um, also, cyber, cyber security uh, software uh, can help protect uh, against uh, the threat. The most important safety measure is open uh, communication with young children and teens. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, as a so result uh, of the intensive development of information technologies, in order to replace the solutions that are already familiar and quite limited to their range uh, of solution for combining traditional education with skill learning, smart education is gradually being developed. Smart a property of a system or process that is manifested uh, in its interaction with the environment and gives uh, the system and or process and ability to provide an immediate response to change in the ex external environment, uh, adapt to um, transforming conditions, um, exercise self-development and self-control, achieve results eff um, effectively. Smart University will perform new functions. The slide illustrated is the main components of a smart university uh, which could be important and necessary for development of the environment. Uh, there are uh, strategy of university uh, development. Uh, the formal re regulation concerning future university development, particularly in the area of implementing smart solutions based on macro, meso and micro level of documents on the international, national and uh, institutional level. Example, UNESCO, European Commission Institution, Ministry of Science and Education of Poland, and university uh, law and other regulation. Uh, hardware equipment devices, uh, for example, panoramic video cameras, smart boards, and or interactive whiteboards, and other. Uh, smart curricula, for example, adaptive program of study. Uh, adaptive courses with various types of teaching form, face-to-face -face blended online, innovative master courses. Uh, smart system, for example, web uh, lecturing system, systems for uh, seamless collaborative learning, learning and content management system. Technologies, cloud computing technologies, 3D visualization technology and other. Uh, smart classroom, with corresponding technologies, uh, software, hardware systems, smart pedagogy for smart education. Digital competences uh, of uh, students, lecturers, administration with necessary development for blended or fully online learning, e-learning. Smart pedagogy, uh, collaborative teaching, learning, uh, learning by doing uh, adaptive, uh, adaptive uh, teaching, learning, uh, flip classroom, inquire based learning, and other main uh, aim of uh, smart university development is uh, first of all personalization of education and growth of the quality of education. Uh, next, next slide, please. Uh, some experts, uh, for example, uh, Pitiano. Uh, emphasized that, that just as no single learning uh, theory has emerged for instruction in general. Uh, the same is true 
for online location. At the same time, uh, some service will be more relevant uh, to online location or their combination. One approach uh, that can be successfully applied to online education uh, is technological pedagogical content, knowledge TPACK, as a way of thinking about the teacher's knowledge as they need to understand, understand uh, in uh, order to integrate technology effectively in their classroom. Uh, in TPACK, online education understanding arises from multiple um, interactions among contents, uh, pedagogical and technological knowledge and web-based community components, environment, social media, blogs, process, people, tools, uh, apps, as you can see on this slide, which uh, should be flexible and compatible in the scope of cooperation and effective support aimed at online education, learning, teaching, and uh, feedback. Next slide, please. Uh, one interesting proposal uh, for an integrated multimodal model of online education is provide based on a pedagogical purpose, Pisciano 2017, which uh, could be of good use in online education in the, in the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, this slide shows the updated multimodal model for online education, which could be successfully integrated with social media and web-based communities, for example, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Gate, services and offices, apps, Google, uh, Microsoft uh, Teams and other. However, online tools are only tools and should be used for supporting. Uh, for successful implementation education via internet uh, should be fulfill other indicators uh, such as smart didactic, uh, teacher well-being and uh, cooperation, uh, peer relationships uh, and cooperation, digital um, inequalities, uh, students' motivation uh, and uh, engagement, uh, cooperation with parents and mentors, digital competences. Pijalski 2020. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, the uh, review of the recent experience of the University of Silesia in Katowice shows that the formal regulations and the introduction of e-learning are not enough uh, to keep the social climate at the relevant level. The selecting main directions and uh, activities of effective global e-learning implementation at the University of Silesia in the pandemic are strategy and implementations, immediately introduction and formal regulation concerning technical and organizational matters of the educational process at the university in the pandemic, a e environment, development of corporate standards, creation of personal learning environment, of a student and teacher are ways to create an electronic informational educational university environment, supporting via distance learning center specialists, e-community, keeping and increasing of the virtual contact in the university communities via MS Teams, social media, constant email correspondence, newsletters, etc. E-technologies global constant use of the wide spectrum of different useful contemporary applications for effective learning and teaching. E-resources, providing a lot of digital sources, publications via CINIBA, Center of the Scientific Information, Katowice, digital libraries sharing via electronic sources via university repository, uh, repositories or e-learning courses, MOOCs, and us. E-learning, conducting classes in synchronous uh, as well as in asynchronous remote mode using 
Moodle system, uh, Microsoft Teams, social media mobs, and other different internet tools and services. Next slide, please. The selected pilot research results of surveys conducted at the University of Silesia show, uh, shows that generally the students and teachers did a good job of implementing distance learning during the pandemic. Uh, the main research problem question was, how did distance learning take place during uh, the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic? An online survey was used according to the fine points lighter scale. On the question, uh, do your online learning conditions in a separate room, 90% respondents answered yes or rather yes. Also majority of gave positive answers to the questions. Is there a constant contact with the lecturer? 80%. The lecturers motivate students to learn. 75 respondents, 75% respondents answered yes or rather yes. Uh, lecturers support students in carrying out tasks. 85% of students answered this question uh, appropriately. However, only 25% respondents answered positively as their early experience in participation in distance learning was assessed above uh, 50%. So the questions determine to um, what extent we are you prepared for distance learning. The prelim this preliminary research result shows that show that students quite quickly and successfully adapted uh, to the conditions of distance learning and uh, showed no fever good results in their studies. Uh, next slide, please. And uh, some conclusions. Based on our and other countries' uh, practices and experiences, we could identify the following several core uh, elements of effective online education uh, in emergence. Using user-friendly learning tools, providing appropriate interactive digital learning resources, uh, advising learners in the use of effective learning methods, uh, guiding learners to apply effective uh, learning methods, promoting effective methods to organize interaction by adoption a range of teaching strategies, providing instant support services to organize uh, instruction by adopting, adopt, adopting a range of teaching strategies, uh, providing instant support services for teachers and learners, uh, improving the partnership between governments enterprises and school uh, and uh, universities. Thank you very much for your attention. Please question, comments, thank you. Thank you very much for, for your presentation. Um, uh, and uh, likewise, we waiting for uh, any questions that might be addressed uh, directly to you if uh, not verbally, then by all means, uh, please use chat where you can uh, post the questions. Otherwise, uh, we'll open the floor to those that would like to ask a question. I'd like to ask a question. May I? Yes, please. Yes, please. Professor. Smirnova Tribulska, I'd like to ask a question. What are the new trends in education in relation to the COVID-19 pandemic? Thanks. Uh, okay, thank you. Mm, you asked me about relation between education and COVID uh, and perspective of development of a system, education system, yes, after pandemic or main trends. Uh, okay, I think that um, 
during pandemic uh, 19, 19, uh, COVID-19, um, we uh, can see a fast development of different online technologies. For example, e-learning, faster development of next generation of LMS learning content management system and digital learning environment. Um, next generation digital learning environment is uh, creating um, a transformational shift uh, in how institutional um, architect their learning ecosystem for learners and instructors. Adaptive uh, learning technologies, it, it is very important and uh, perspective, perspective um, trends of um, changing of education, which uh, taking in, into account personal abilities of uh, students, uh, pupils, uh, students uh, of the university, seniors, and so on, so on. Um, artificial intelligence, um, the internet of things, a national user interface. Uh, blended learning design, uh, collaborative learning, analysis and uh, privacy questions, um, and other. The main idea is uh, transform the educational system and all components, uh, tools, technologies, um, methods, uh, generally methodologies, uh, pedagogy, organi organization, and uh, other con context for um, supporting and development personalization of education and supporting all activities of education process. Uh, it's very important and increase the um, quality of um, teaching and learning. Uh, social trend in education, uh, first of all, well-being and mental, mental health. It's, it is very important and um, expert researchers should continue conducting research in area as this topic because um, the comfortable uh, psychological, emotional, uh, comfortable well-being is uh, very important for successfully educational process, uh, teaching, learning, uh, and generally being and fun function. High educational trends, uh, for example, uh, changes uh, in uh, students' population, uh, global um, trends, uh, changing uh, the age of students. Uh, for example, 50% uh, uh, for 20 years, 50% of students will have uh, more than 50 years old. Alternative pathway of education, uh, different um, kind of uh, form technologies, uh, learning online learning, blended learning, uh, and um, smart uh, curriculum and adaptive uh, uh, curriculum for uh, taking in account personal individual uh, predisposition and uh, style of learning and uh, individual um, needing. Adaptive learning, uh, analyzing for student success, element uh, Open education resources is uh, it is very very important direction. Uh, open um, <clears throat> education resources, open access uh, publications, uh, MOOCs, uh, e-learning courses, uh, different um, uh, research results. Uh, we are research gates, social media, uh, university repositorium, uh, scientific databases, and so on, so on, so on. And to all these trends, uh, trends um, uh, very uh, uh, good, effective uh, influence, impact to the quality of education and uh, taking in account uh, expectation of uh, students and teachers. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for, uh, for your explanation. Uh, thank you for uh, questions that were raised to our presenters. Unfortunately, um, uh, one of our presenter, uh, presenters endured some technical problems uh, being unable to uh, link uh, with us today. Um, so uh, I believe that uh, there are no other 
present this uh, that we have for the session. And as so, such, I would like to thank all of you for uh, your preparation and presentation and uh, questions uh, that, uh, that you uh, responded to. I wish you all the best and uh, uh, good luck and see you next year in the same presentations, uh, uh, perhaps with uh, new data and new information that will inform us all uh, on the progress. Thank you very much.